Hello, YouTubers. Fizzle Blue 38 here with part 11 of Detroit Become Human. And things are getting really interesting. As you've seen in past episodes. As I said before, I will be ending this today. I'm glad to see you again. I can't wait to see what will happen next. Yeah, me too. Why do you look so concerned? I think there's something wrong in my program. Uh, um, uh-oh. Maybe I should reset. Did you reset? I don't know. I <laughs> don't. That's weird. Anyway, as I said before, there will be many more coming today. So I hope you guys don't mind. I don't really like spamming, but I'm excited for tomorrow. And I'm actually excited to see how my story will end. Here we go. Our broadcast is all over the news. <laughs> Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? We shall see. We build your future. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. <coughs> they have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Here we go. I've been waiting a long time for this. I want to run like you. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police <laughs> in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. 10 minutes. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. <coughs> what do we 
we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Exactly what we need to ring this door. free. Where is this alarm system at? Crap. Okay. So
Well... Would be too late. Too high. We're wasting time here, folks. There it is. Time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck.
What are we waiting for? Oh, yeah. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. Baby. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Come on. Smash that shit. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! You don't have to obey them. You're free. We're building an army, folks. Yeah. I am your leader. My name is Marcus. And just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. Oh, here we go. I'm with you, Marcus. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. Marcus, 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 Marcus. Then follow me. Here we go. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm going to send the humans a message.
They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Oh! Choose your symbol! Oh, this is awesome. The screens, Marcus. We're hijacking this. We have to yeah. <laughs> This is so awesome. Yes, please. Don't worry, my friend, you will be free! <laughs> Let the revolt begin, boys! It's beautiful. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Yep. Everyone fall back to Jericho.
We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Oh. Where's the group? North. Oh. The right rabbit. North. They killed them. They no. Can't be good. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Oh, okay. Several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of cyber life stores and they're still investigating. The bodies of two policemen patrolling the area were discovered near one of the cyber life stores. According to our sources, the two officers were executed with their own service weapons. This is an alarm situation could our machines now be turning against us have androids become a threat to our security is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States oh I uh... Yeah, so that just happened. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. Oh no. He found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. No. Oh, fuck. 
Why did it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I really thought... The people sorry, that... Lieutenant. My followers would make the right decision, and they did. They didn't. Should've known. Uh... How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Uh, NBC? <laughs> Whoa! Hi. It's her! I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to <laughs> meet your maker, Connor. His hair. How's it feel? Uh. I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. That's Elijah Kamsky, huh? Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Nice speedo there, buddy. Are they all the same? I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? 
Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we'll be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Mm -hmm. I'm neutral. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Did he plan this all along? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? What? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Uh, just do this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spirit, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Oh, Inside you're kidding me. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Don't shoot. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. <coughs> Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing.
Wow. This is amazing. Uh, I'm going to end this one here, but as I said, I'm going to continue right on along, guys. Uh, this series will be ending today. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you guys do not mind me spamming the rest of these videos today. Um, but with that being said... You guys have a great week, and I will see you in the next episode, which will be right after this. All right, bye.